Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. So today I'm coming to you guys with two Valentine's Day makeup looks that you guys can recreate. Um, yeah, that's really it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's like two tutorials in one. Um, so stay tuned to see how I create these two makeup looks. So first I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids so that my eyeshadow stays on all day and so that um, the colors come off more vibrant. So I'm going to use MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to use like a small stippling brush to place that all over the lid, into the crease, over the crease, everywhere. So now I'm going to take this, uh, I think this is a MAC 217 brush. And this has some of my leftover concealer that I used to do my brows. I'm just going to clean up that the outside perimeter of it. Then I'm going to use some Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set the soft ochre paint pot because it gets really sticky um, after a while and it's hard to blend. So now I'm going to take my tart lip palette and I'm going to take this color here and I'm going to use a eyeshadow brush to place that all over my lid. And it's hard to see with the soft ochre paint pot but you can definitely see it and you guys will see in a second. So yep, just packing that all over the lid. Now we're going to go in with this color called Caramel. And this is going to be our transition color. This is the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow and I'm going to put that basically above my crease and below my eyebrow highlight and just blend it out. So now I'm going to take Morocco by ABH and I'm going to place that right underneath Caramel and literally um, just kind of placing a line right underneath Caramel. I'm not even putting it in the outer V just like a line right beneath the other color. <laughs> and then I'm just going to blend it out with that same brush just make sure the colors blend pretty well. And basically, I pick up a lot of blending brushes. Like, most of them are MAC or Morphe. So, yeah. And I just blend that out. So, I'm taking this fluffier brush and blending it out. So, yep, still blending. Uh, this is that. I think this is a Morphe 511 brush. And I'm just blending out the colors together. And making sure that harsh lines are gone. That's really it. Just blending it out. So now that that look is done for the eyeshadow, we're going to move on to the eyeliner. I'm not doing a wing liner today. I wanted it to be pretty simple. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, cream eyeliner in a flat brush to go right in, not my waterline, but my lash line. And kind of smoke out the cream liner a little bit. I'm going to put some black eyeshadow over it. This is Noir by ABH as well. I'm just going to smoke out that cream liner. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Mine is not. Um, it's just so that um, you have more definition in your eyes. And it's just really easy too to do, especially if you have a hard time doing wing liner. So now I'm going to take this color from the Tartlet palette and I'm going to take a pencil brush and just put that in the inner tear ducts of my eyes to open up my eyes a little bit. Now I am going in with Carbon Black Mascara by L'Oreal. And L'Oreal, why did I say that? So New York right there. <laughs> but I'm just going to... Um, Put that all over my bottom lashes just to make them more dramatic and fluffy. Now I'm taking my Cocoa Lashes and Goddess and I'm putting those on. Yeah, those are so pretty. I love those lashes. They've been like my favorite lately. So that eye look is complete. I'm going to put on, I think this is T-Rose Blush by Milani. Very soft pinky blush. It's very pretty and very soft. I'm just going to put that on with a powder brush. And kind of just blend it out. And I've already did my foundation, highlight, and a little bit of contour today. So I'm going to take the amazing glow kit. And I'm going to take the color Starburst. And I'm going to put that on the high points of my cheekbones to make them pop a little bit. I'm only using a small amount. These colors are so pretty. This glow kit is so worth it. I absolutely love both kits. Um, some people... We're saying that this kit is more for lighter skin tones, but you can definitely get away with it. Just don't use so much if you're chocolate like me. Um, the gold kit is definitely easier to use if you're chocolate skinned, but you can get away with anything. You just have to know how to use it, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just highlighting everywhere that you would highlight, I guess. And now we're going to move on to the lips. So I am using Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC to outline my lips. Just so that the pink color that we're going to put on our lips won't look so harsh. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to use Whirl Lipstick by MAC. And I'm going to fill in my lips with that. 
and this is such a pretty lipstick it's so pretty it's like the perfect pinky nude color then I'm just gonna kind of blend that out with a blending brush so now I am going to go in with this ABH lip gloss uh, and vintage I think vintage and that's it so that is look one on to look two we're gonna start off with the same face that you just saw but I'm just going to add some more colors. So I'm going to take Sketch Blush by MAC. And I'm going to use like a really, not sharp, but pointy blending brush. And I'm going to put this in the outer V of my eye, blending it into the crease. And I'm just layering this on top of the eyeshadow that you just saw me do. And I'm just going to blend that out and smoke out the outer V with this color. So easy, so simple. This can be a nighttime look. Like the first one can be a daytime look. And then this one can be a nighttime look. Or you can do it vice versa, or it doesn't really matter. You can play it up however you'd like. So I'm just blending that into the crease and in the outer V. And this part takes a lot of blending as well. I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend um, my transition color and sketch together so that it looks like the harsh lines aren't there. And I'm just going to keep blending, basically. So on both sides, you just want to keep blending the colors together on the outer V don't blend it too far so now I'm gonna take this darker color from the Tartlet and Bloom palette and I'm gonna put this um, in the outer V as well but I'm gonna keep this closer 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 <laughs> closer to the lash line but I'm not gonna go over that sketch color so basically yeah blending that out and pulling it into the crease as well now I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and blend the colors together just so that it looks pretty seamless. Now I'm going to take this gold color from the Tartlet and Bloom palette as well. And I'm going to put this all over my lid area. Not going above that sketch color again. And I'm just going to kind of blend that out too. So now I'm going to take this Eye Cold by MAC. And I'm going to fill in my waterline with this. Since this is a darker look, I'm going to add some eyeliner. Now I'm going to take Sketch on a eyeshadow brush and blend or smudge out the bottom lash line so that it looks more smoky. I'm literally just going to blend and smoke out that bottom lash line. So now I'm taking the Sketch blush and I'm going to put that all over my cheeks on top of that rosy colored blush that we had. I put too much so I'm taking my foundation and putting that the powder foundation and putting it over it. So now I'm going in with Night Moth Lip Pencil and this is just being used to outline my lips and I'm actually going to fill them in with this color as well. I've been obsessed with this lip pencil. It's literally almost gone. So I filled in my entire like lips with that basically and now I'm going in with Wild Cherry or Black Cherry by ABH. It's a lip gloss and I'm going to put that all over my lips basically. and. This is a very pretty color, very pigmented as well. You can wear it on its own, but I just layered it. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the um, other glow kit, the gold one, I'm not sure what it's called. And I am going to layer on dripping in gold on top of the highlight that I already had on. At night, I like to glow still. So I'm just going to, you know, add more highlight on there. See how pretty and creamy these are? Oh my God, I love these glow kits. Love them, love them, love them. I'm going to put a little bit more on my nose, my cubist bell, my chin, and a little bit above my eyebrows. Not too much above the eyebrows because you tend to look crazy, but just the excess product. I want it to be extra today. <laughs> so I'm using my eyebrow pencil by NYX and creating like a little mole type thing. So there it is. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water just to make that highlight pop. And that's it for that look. So my hair. You guys always ask me about my hair, so I'm going to tend to, you know, talk about it in the videos. So I am wearing um, Best Lakes Wigs wig. <laughs> I'll put the link down below to the hair itself. So I'm just curling it with, like, a huge curling iron to give me those, like, big voluminous curls. And this hair, I would say, is more fitting for African American women because the texture is very close to our natural hair texture and I absolutely love it. You can straighten it bone straight if you like. I did not, but I did put some heat to it just to straighten it out a little bit. And um, I just curled it as you, you see I'm doing here. <laughs> and that's really it. I absolutely love this hair. You guys know I already have another unit like this, but it's longer. And yeah, I absolutely love it. 
So that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe.